Hey Bash fam. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to utilize and organize the index pages at the back of your planner. Now we actually updated our digital planners this year to now have these index pages and they work as a way to organize your blank dot grid and your sticker pages. Because in our original um, digital planners, we just had these blank pages dot grid sticker pages for you to duplicate and insert anywhere you wanted into your planner. But an issue that would come up, at least for me, is that I would often add them into my planner and then I would either forget where I put them or I'd have to flip through all these different pages to find them. So this way you can actually organize them and have different um, identified labeled sections for all of them. You'll notice these new tabs at the top here. So each section has its own corresponding tab. So if I go to this number one tab here, it will take me to that section. If I go to the number five tab, it'll take me to the fifth tab and so forth. So how this video is gonna be set up is I'm gonna show you just the basics of how we've laid everything out here, how you can add in sections, add in pages. Um, and then I'm gonna show you a couple of different examples of how you can utilize your index pages. Um, and I'll actually add in some of my own tips and tricks of how to further organize them. And then if you see any of these layouts and you'd like to see a more detailed tutorial on how to actually create those layouts, feel free to let us know in the comments below um, so we can get that video up for you as well. Now, you know, I always like to start out with these tutorials by prefacing um, saying that we will be demonstrating using the iPad, the Apple Pencil, and the app GoodNotes. If you want further details on um, the specifics of which version um, the iPad this is or Pencil, I will leave that in the caption or description. Um, I mention this because a question we get a lot of the time is, you know, will this digital planner work on our specific app or specific device? other than GoodNotes or the iPad? And the answer is that yes, it is compatible with most other um, apps and devices. All you'll really need is some sort of PDF annotation app that allows you to edit PDFs and actually um, activate the hyperlinks within the planner. In our personal experience, um, you do seem to get the best digital planning experience from the iPad and Apple Pencil and the app GoodNotes. Um, if you do decide to use a different app or device, just know that any limitations and functionality are going to be due to that app or device themselves. Um, because as I mentioned, our digital planner files are the same no matter which app or device that you use. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So before I get into these specific examples, I'm going to show you the basics of how you would set this up. So let's say I'm in my dotted tab here and Maybe I want this section to be my vision board section. So you could write it out here. I like to type it out. So I'll write out. And I'll know that this number one tab is going to be associated with my vision board. So I could flip to the next page or just to show you, if I could click on it, this is going to be all of my vision board stuff. So I would just start adding images into here. Okay, and let's say I wanted to add more pages into my vision board section here. If I flip to the next page, you'll notice that this is my number two tab. I don't want to add into this section because I want to keep all different sections separate. I want to keep adding into this number one tab section. So in GoodNotes to easily do this, um, because you wanna copy this page, but as much as possible, I'd like to copy it without copying the, the pictures that I've added. So you click on this plus symbol right here and then you're adding a page and you're adding the current template. This way it only adds the background and not the things that you've added onto it. And then you'll notice here, it's still in this number one tab. And then I would add more images here. Um, if you don't have that feature available to you, essentially, as I mentioned, all you're doing is copying and pasting this page. And even if you're not using GoodNotes, there should be this feature available to you. It just may be in a different area, maybe in your thumbnail view or something, but in GoodNotes, I would click on these three dots, click copy page, click on this add page symbol, click paste page. 
From there, I would just have to delete this. So you could just use the lasso tool to select and delete everything. Um, so let's go back to the index page here. Say after that, I'm like, you know what? I would love a section for all of my work notes. So maybe when I have meetings or if I have ideas that come up, I want to put them all in this section to be in this number two tab here. So I would just go ahead and start adding. This is beautiful. Um, my work notes into here. I would add more pages. Um, again, just adding the current template still in the number two tab. And that is the gist of that. Let me show you to how I would do this in the sticker section. So this is your favorite stickers tab. This is a place for you to add in all of your favorite stickers just to have them in one place. Um, because if you're like me, I have a lot of sticker books and it can be a real hassle to kind of sort through all of them when looking through stickers. Um, I'll show you exactly the, the ways that I've organized them here. So let's say I just wanted this section to be all of my, mm -hmm, all of my favorite stickers, but from a specific sticker book, like from all, from the Positive Pals um, sticker book that we have. I would label it. And then let's go to that section. I would just start adding in the stickers. The easiest way to do that um, on an iPad, I like to use split view mode. Um, essentially though, again, you're just copying and pasting the stickers, but I have iOS 15, but not everyone may have that update yet. So I'm not even going to show you the little hack for that, but let's see, <clears throat> I would go back, go to my sticker book. Um, let's open that. There will be two different tabs open here. And then I just like to long press and drag it to the side. And then I would just start adding in my favorite stickers. Sometimes I'll do the whole sticker sheet. Other times it'll just be like individual stickers and so forth. But that way I don't have to go to my positive pals. I, if I know that these are just my favorites, I'm gonna use them all the time. I'll just know they're in this section here. Positive Pal sticker book. They're all in this section. All right, now that is the basics of all you need to know. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the examples now of some things um, that I've created for these back sections here. So I am in my grid tab and I'll just go through them. So this first section here is for my 30 day journal challenge. If you ever have a hard time thinking of what to write in your planner, maybe you don't wanna plan, Maybe you feel overwhelmed or maybe you're just having some sort of creative block um, or even if you just want some fun challenges to do with your Pash Fam community, definitely check out all of the different challenges we have. They're up on our Passion Planner website in our blog. Um, you can also check out the Passion Planner digital um, Instagram page. We have them all under our Instagram story highlights as well. So 30 day journal challenge. You can have your book tracker and notes here. Um, you can have all of your ideas for different color palettes or all of your favorite layouts all in one area um, if you ever run out of ideas. I'm about to start my November bullet journal section. You can have a place for affirmations, a place to keep track of all your finances, a place, a, a place to keep track of your cleaning in your house, work notes, your mental health. Um, I go to therapy and it's great for me to have a place to store all of my therapy notes, um, any different coping mechanisms I've been trying. I can keep track of my mental health throughout the month, uh, weekly and monthly resets. If you take any sort of classes, you can put those notes here. Productivity and organization. I'm constantly watching um, YouTube videos and listening to podcasts about productivity and organization. So I like to have them all organized in one area. The Pashtober Doodle Challenge is another challenge that we have going on. Um, my life bucket list, any new moon attentions, and then I'll put my recipes there as well. So let me just show you a couple of these. For example, this is my 30 day journal challenge. You can see that I have pasted the challenge into here. There will be a tutorial very soon on how to insert these free um, 
PDFs into your digital planner. But if you can't wait for that tutorial and you kind of already know your way around um, digital planning, essentially all you're doing is you would go to our website um, and you would go to our free downloads and our inserts and you'll find this there. You're gonna write in your email um, and this will be sent to you. You'll download it and it'll be just like how you imported your planner into your app because it's still a PDF and you would import this PDF into GoodNotes or whatever your app is. And then you would just use, you're basically just using your lasso tool to like select it. <laughs> Better than that though. Tap it, oops, tap it. And you're taking a screenshot, clicking the share button and then clicking copy and you're just pasting it into your planner. That is just the quick version, but there will be an, uh, an official tutorial on how to do that as well. Um, so this is my 30 day journal challenge. I've got a little title page here. Um, and yeah, these are all the different days. I've added stickers. This next section here is my book tracker section. This is, again is another insert from the Passion Planner website that's free. Um, and these are free as well on our website. Color palettes and layouts. Um, I really <laughs> love that I've created this section for myself because there are times when I want my layouts to look pretty, but maybe I don't have, have enough energy to kind of come up with new layouts. Or maybe there are just some um, color palettes and layouts that I know work for me and I don't mind just repeating them all the time. So I really like to save those layouts here. Um, I really like this one. Um, again, if you want me to show you how to insert that into here, because you'll notice that these, this wasn't copied and pasted into one of these like grid pages. I actually copied the layout itself, that page and pasted it into here because I forgot to mention this, but the way I look at the index pages is kind of like, it's an index page. And then all of these different tabs are like dividers in a binder. And so for example, like this is the color palette and layout divider, and then I'll add in these pages um, of these weekly layouts. And then what I'll actually do is I'll like delete the things that I've written down, except for maybe the main headers and stickers, and it'll appear like this. And that way I can straight up just like select this. I'll copy it. And then let's go to a layout with my lasso tool selected, I'll long press, click paste, and I can insert it straight into my planner. I don't have to worry about it, like coming up with different colors and everything. It's already set up for me. So I'm gonna go back to my grid page, the color palettes and layouts section. Here's another layout for school that I've created. And then I've deleted everything. I like to have them both that way. I can kind of like see what it'll look like. And if I want to use it, I'll just copy it and paste it straight into my planner. Um, we also have monthly color palettes that we'll post on our IG story. You should go check those out. Those are on our story highlights as well. Um, so I'll take those and then I'll kind of play with them. I have a template that I just copy and paste. So it has um, like a screenshot of the planner layout, just half of it, because I want to use this side to kind of look at the color palette itself. And then I'll play around with the colors. Okay, and let me go ahead and show you now what I've done with our stickers page over here. I'm gonna delete this because it's bothering me. Okay, so in my stickers pages over here, this first tab is for my color palette. So there are times when I'm like, okay, I don't really know what I wanna do with this layout, but I know I wanna use like, um, like pink and yellow or something. I'll know that they're all like on this page right here that way because these are actually all from probably like six different sticker books but they're all just in one page they're my favorites i don't have to look through a bunch of different pages for this section i have like different themes for example this theme is food these are all my favorite food stickers um, oh i really love using this page um, this theme is like all my self-care stickers because again there are times when i'm having a rough day and i just need like really cute happy um, encouraging stickers, so I'll just straight up select them, copy them, and paste them into my planner from there. Um, 
there are more here these are like holidays this is all like stickers i can use for valentine's day these are stickers i can use for halloween which is really coming up soon and let me actually show you how i would do this um because you could you could just like copy all of these and go to your layout and paste them but that's kind of a hassle um i don't know if everyone knows this but you can actually split screen with the same planner um, at least in GoodNotes, and I, I need to double check, but I think you can in Notability. I need to double check if you can do that for Note 12, but for sure in GoodNotes you can do this. So to do that, I'm gonna go to my thumbnail view. Actually, the easiest way for me to do this, I'm gonna go to the layout I want to add these stickers into. Uh -uh, here. And then I want to split view with my favorite sticker page over here, so I'll go to thumbnail view. And I will scroll down to that sticker page. Maybe I'll use yeah, these um, self-care stickers. So I'm gonna click on this arrow, click open a new window. I'll close this and now I can easily just drag and drop these stickers straight into my planner. And that pretty much covers everything. I do wanna mention a couple tips and tricks. So if you'll notice, um, for every section, I kind of created this title page. Now, one, this serves as a way like to visually see, okay, I'm in a different section because sometimes I'll be flipping through here and I won't notice that I'm in a different tab. That way, I'll just have a title page that will tell me, okay, now we're in my book tracker section. Not only that, but this also serves as a way to tell me that this is the original page of my planner. Um, because you can add and duplicate as many pages as you like into this planner, but we do not recommend deleting any of the original pages as this can cause the hyperlinks to no longer work. This has happened to me on occasion um, with our original planner because I really like to duplicate pages. I like to move them around and then I'll accidentally delete the original. So whenever I get to a new tab, let's go back here. See my vision board instead of just straight adding stuff into here i would actually write out a title like vision board and make it cute um that way i know like okay this is the original page and also we are in this section you'll also notice that i've actually added these little tags at the top as well too again just to remind me of what section that i'm in that covers our tutorial if you have any questions if you again would like to see um, like a more detailed step-by-step -step of how to create any of these different layouts please let us know in the comments below so we can get that tutorial going for you um, if you have any specific questions regarding your app or your device we do recommend you go to that specific or app or devices um, support page as they will be better able to help answer those questions for you there